Welcome to my channel, Outside the Levees, where the levees end, the fun begins. I'm Jared Serenay, and today I'm fishing with some buddies in beautiful St. Bernard Parish. I'll be showing you all the places to stop on your trip here. Then we're taking the fish to one of our amazing local restaurants so they can cook them up. Now let's get it started. All right, y'all, it is another beautiful day in St. Bernard Parish, and we are going inshore fishing for speckled trout and redfish today. I'm actually on my way down to Delacro, but before I get there, I'm stopping here in Violet at Day and Night Discount. This is probably one of the best places to stop when you're heading down to go fishing in St. Bernard. It's a great place to fuel up. I'm gonna show you how much room they have to get in here with your boat. If you bring your own boat down to go fishing, this is a great place to stop for fuel. All right, so the reason I love coming here to fuel up my boat, you can see there's an Airstream there. So as you're coming down this highway, you turn in here, right? And if you're pulling a trailer, you need a lot of room, right? Well, heck man, look how much room they got to when you're pulling. So you come in with your trailer and your boat, and you've got so much room to pull in and then all this stuff, you know, this, this place is designed with boats in mind. I mean, look, there's a big old airstream down there and let's go inside and get what we need. Outboard oil, if you need that. If you do happen to forget anything for fishing, they do have some fishing stuff. It's not as stocked as it could be, but they've got some swivels here, lots of line, lots of weights. I think I'm gonna go old school, man. Just something about a sparkle beetle. That's just a fun old school. This is the most old school bait on the planet for catching speckled trout. And I think I'm gonna get some. You can come in here and order a breakfast sandwich. Tell us what, what, what are some of the things you can get for breakfast here? <laughs> Biscuit, croissant, toast, or um, pancake combo omelet, or uh, breakfast, breakfast cup, breakfast combo, which is great. And y'all could whip it up pretty quick if some folks are coming here to go fishing. Yeah, yes sir. It's like five minutes for like a for yeah. a cup of sandwich. It's easy. It's quick. We do it very quick. Oh my goodness. That was good. What you got back here, my boy? Oh, damn. oh my goodness. Oh. Alright brother, thank y'all. Appreciate it. See y'all next time. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm telling you man I love St. Bernard just stuff like that seeing my partner on the way down to go fishing running his oyster truck y'all gotta come see this culture this way we live y'all come come visit us All right, so we launched right here at Sweetwater Marina. If you Google that, we'll have all the information for you in the description below. But that's a great little boat launch when you're looking to fish anywhere around Delacro Regio. It's called Sweetwater Marina. We're in a little bit of a hurry. Steven had to drop off the kids. I had to help my kids get dressed. So now we are fired up, ready to go fishing. That's Sweetwater right there. So we're leaving out and we're going to find these trout right away. No time to mess around. We'll see y'all out there. <laughs> All right, first keeper. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, y'all. So that's the first keeper of our target species, what we call a speckled trout. What we're doing today is a very classic Louisiana style of fishing. We're fishing with popping corks. We've got some live shrimp. I've got that old sparkle beetle. We're fishing these outer coastal bays. You know, kind of in between. Uh, I guess Delacro in the Gulf of Mexico. Great time of year to be doing this. Really, you could really fish out here any time of year and catch fish. I mean, it's, you know, there's always bait out here. There's always fish. But what we're trying to capitalize on is this kind of movement of shrimp from the Gulf into the coastal water. So let's see if they hear. We just got our first keeper. It's a little slow, but we hanging in there. Got one in the back here. A fighting. I got a bite on, though I'm getting bit while I'm looking at him. All you got to do is look away. See, like I'm looking at mine now, I ain't getting no bite. I'm going to look back at him. 
All right, y'all, I hadn't caught a fish in a minute that was not saltwater catfish. Please don't let this be one. It is not, it's a good old head shaker. <laughs> you are so screwed, dude. <laughs> you are so screwed. If you had spots, you'd be going home, partner. Not today. Come on, shaker. Come on, shaker. All right. All right. I'm the white trout killer today, boy. Oh, there you go. Sparkle beetle tearing them up, son. Sparkle beetle got their number. Sparkle beetle. <laughs> nice one. That is a nice one. Heck yeah. Good speckle trout. Better off not eating. Ooh, ooh. Best one on the day there, boy. You even beat his 13. That might make That might go it. like that <laughs> might go like 14 and a half, dude. <laughs> that is hammer time right there, son. He ain't gonna be able to show off his new piercing. <laughs> yes. 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 What you got, bruh? The white variety. Yes, sir. All right, so the first thing you need is a medium action spinning rod with a spinning reel. I recommend a 2500. We usually use braid. You don't need anything more than 30 pound braid to put on there. This is the kicker though. One of these popping corks, we call it. And it's got beads and on the top weights on the bottom so you know when you throw it it falls down and it just makes a lot of noise it's a lot a lot of noise and that sounds like bait so when you come to st bernard fishing you're gonna want a good handful of these all of our stores sell them then i just go with the leader i've got about like three foot leader i think that's uh 20 pound 30 pound fluorocarbon and the old school sparkle beetle that's what i showed y'all this morning that's a quarter ounce jig head you could fish like this anywhere in St. Bernard and catch fish. You just really, really want to find some time when the tide is moving. And that's what happened for us today. We got out here at the end of one tide cycle. We're here at the beginning of another and these fish are just turned on like that, like a light switch. <laughs> oh, sparkle beetles. <laughs> oh, sparkle beetle and whiteys. I love that. Sparkle beetle and whiteys. It is happening, folks. Head shake for us. That's so good. Yes. Dude, the whites are getting bigger. They're getting bigger, dude. Little white guy. Yo. They on there. Still guys, <laughs> huh? Still guys. Still got him, y'all. Still got him. This is why you come down to St. Bernard Parish, find your little place to stay down here, go launch a Sweetwater Marina, and get on some fish. All right, y'all, I'm back at Sweetwater Marina. We caught the fish. I wanted to show y'all something too. Right here at Sweetwater Marina, you can actually stay here. This is lodging. He's got five rooms elevated up off of the ground. You can park your boat under there and we're gonna go have a look at him. Let's go see. Like I said, we always encourage you to, when you come to St. Bernard, bring your own boat. Come see us, come fishing down here. 
and stay at a place like Sweetwater, I mean, look at this. It don't get no better than that. You park your boat, your truck, everything, leave it hooked up, stay right above it, park your truck here, launch right there, and go that way to catch the fish that we caught today. They got everything you need here. I'm Captain Jack, the proud owner of Sweetwater Marina. How long y'all been in business? Uh, 16 years down here. Wow. What is your favorite thing about fishing in St. Bernard or being in St. Bernard? Uh, if you have to go back up front, it's close and easy. And I got a lot of great things, good food up there, good stores, you know, but uh, it's the best fishing around. So is St. Bernard a really hard place to fish? Like even if you don't kind of know what you're doing, could you bring your own boat and catch? Yeah, you can easily go out in St. Bernard and have your own boat, get a little tip from me or somebody else with some knowledge. It's and we just have spot. such a big fishery. I mean, there's always something you can catch, right? Redfish, speckle trout, bass. The list goes on and on. Bring your crab traps and catch you an honest to God, 150 quart ice chest in a few hours. A beautiful crab, select crab. You just throw the small ones back and keep these big, beautiful males and the big, pretty females. All you want. It's crazy. All right, y'all. Here's the inside of one of the cabins. I mean, come on now. Come on. Come on. Look, I mean, couldn't you see yourself... Chilling here, watching the TV after a fishing trip. I mean, everything you need. Got the refrigerator. Oh, he's even got condiments. Come on, bro. You're making it too easy for him. Too easy for him. Nice, clean bathroom. They got the bunks so you and your partners, you and your buddies can come fishing down here in Delacroix. Stay at Sweetwater. Man, y'all got it going on in here, Jack. This is something I want to come stay in this myself. Yeah, yeah, so you could even sleep more here. This is just phenomenal. Hey, hi, my name's Tommy Tomasio. We have Rocky and Carlos Restaurant. I'm one of the only second generation owners of the restaurant. Actually, it started back in 65. Betsy came in September of 65. That's when I think we became very popular because we fed a lot of people when people didn't have anything at the time. So Rock and Call became very popular at that time. And over the years, we've served a lot of people from all different parishes. We stick with the basics, and we, people that come here that haven't been here in 10 years, they say, hey, it tastes just like 10 years ago. That's what we want to hear. We want to hear that. So right now, we're happy where we are. Hopefully, we can make it another 56 years, but I don't think so. But I'm hoping we can do another 10 for sure and try to make the people happy and come back again. It's all good. It's all good. So we're going to do some grilled and some fried. And I'm telling y'all, y'all are in for a treat here at Rocky and Carlos in Chalmette, Louisiana. Really some of our food royalty here in St. Bernard Parish. Can't wait to see it. Y'all just come off the grill. <laughs> I mean, mm, mm, mm. they were just swimming around too. They almost had a chance to get away, but they couldn't. All right, y'all, this is Miss Amanda's homemade tartar sauce. This ain't no stuff that you can get from Restaurant Depot. She makes it herself. I can't wait to try it. From 1972, my daddy right. coached all right. that, Mr. John. Remember that, Mr. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Mr. Daddy, remember All right, y'all, I promise this isn't planned, but that just goes to show you those of us who live and work here and promote St. Bernard believe what we're saying. Our parish president just happened to be here. I promise you this is not planned. This is Mr. Guy McGinnis, Mr. Kenny Armstrong. They come here every Saturday, and I walked in, I was like, oh, y'all are here, too. So we're, they're going to help me enjoy some of this fish because, I mean, I can eat, but I can't eat all this by myself. So we're going to start tasting some of what Miss Amanda cooked up in the kitchen. But once again, if you want to do this, you go catch your fish, you bring your boat down to St. Bernard, you hire a charter captain, go catch your fish, and then call ahead of time, let them know you're going to do this, but bring your fish to here at Rocco and Carlos so they can cook it for you, and you can enjoy it like we are right now. 
So I believe that's that's the white trout right there. White trout? Yeah. And that's homemade tartar sauce. Man. Yeah. I've never had homemade tartar Me sauce. Either. Yeah. Never what had. a treat. Unbelievable. All caught in St. Bernard. So you got speckled trout in that? Yeah, there should be some speck and some white all mixed together. All right, y'all, this is the homemade tartar sauce on the white trout. Yeah, highly recommended. The Amanda. veal farm, macaroni, veal so cutlet, and I got you some gravy from Oh my lord, oh my lord. Gastic veal cutlet, as the world famous Rocky and Carlos macaroni, veal parmesan. <laughs> One. I can't have Rockies without a glass bottle Rizzo. <laughs> All right, y'all, so now moving on to the grilled fish. I expect it to be phenomenal. Oh my God. Really great. I might like that better, honestly. Mm -hmm. By itself, that looks pretty good, right? Looks like a pretty good meal, but to really bring it all together, this is how we do. We go with gravy. So brown gravy. And once again, by itself, that looks pretty good. But to do it the Rocky and Carlos way, you go gravy on the mac. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. All right, here's the veal cutlet with the gravy and the macaroni. Y'all, I really don't know what else to say to get y'all to come down here. I mean, if this isn't doing it for you, I don't know what else to say. All right, y'all, and then last, but certainly never least, the veal parmesan. Once again, going back to the gravy. <laughs> All right, this is my number one favorite when I come to Rocky and Carlos. The veal parmesan with the macaroni, the gravy, the gravy. Mm. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. All right, so now if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Like the video, leave us a comment. Let us know. How did you like this trip? What do you think about coming down to St. Bernard? We'd love to have you. So leave me a comment. Let me know. We'll see y'all next time.